I'm going to make a brief statement. I'm going to distribute a brief written statement, and I may take a few questions. Mr. Weinstein um, will enter a plea of not guilty. We intend to move very quickly to dismiss uh, these charges. We believe that they are constitutionally flawed. We believe that they are not factually supported by the evidence, and we believe that at the end of the process, Mr. Weinstein will be exonerated. Uh, someone inside asked me how Mr. Weinstein feels this morning, and my response was, as well as can be expected when you are accused of a crime that you vehemently deny having committed. So we are going through the process. Today is the first step. We knew that Mr. Weinstein was under investigation for more than seven months. He voluntarily uh, surrendered this morning, and we have met all of the bail conditions by agreement so that we would not have extended court proceedings. We have a right to revisit any issue in this case later in the event that an indictment is, is returned, and I uh, anticipate that uh, this case will ultimately uh, be resolved favorably um, as to Mr. Weinstein. I'm going to take just one or two questions. I'm, I'm going to make that decision next week, whether Mr. 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 Weinstein has always maintained that any sexual activity he engaged in was consensual. He has vehemently denied any of the allegations which suggest that he engaged in non-consensual uh, sexual activity. Many of these allegations are long um, overdue, quite frankly, having been uh, made about events that are alleged to have occurred many years ago. They were not reported to the police at the time these events occurred, and I anticipate that the women who have made these allegations when subjected uh, to cross-examination in the event we even get that far, that the charges will not be believed by 12 people, assuming we get 12 fair people who are not consumed by the movement that seems to have overtaken this case. Well, what do you How do you feel about the bail? Is he not well? Is he wearing an ankle bracelet? I think the details of the bail conditions were discussed in open court. I really don't want to revisit them now. He has met them. We deposited the million dollars of uh, uh, cash bail that was required by the court, and uh, we've agreed to turn over Mr. Weinstein's passport, and that's where we are. Ben, how concerned are you about a federal investigation? How concerned are you about a federal investigation? What? I, I anticipate a vigorous defense. That's been uh, my uh, professional job for almost 40 years, and I think most of you know that. I think the federal investigation, if it um, occurs, we will deal with it when and if uh, that happens. I am hoping to continue my discussions with the Southern District and uh, my efforts to dissuade them from proceeding. That investigation, too, has gone on for many months. Well, Thank you very much. Dozens of women who say that there's a pattern of behavior, a pattern of misconduct. Uh, by Mr. Weinstein against these women? Well, let me say this without defending behavior. Um, my job is not to defend behavior. My job is to defend something that is criminal behavior. Bad behavior. Um, Mr. Weinstein did not invent the casting couch in Hollywood, and to the extent that there is bad behavior um, in that industry, that is not what this is about. Bad behavior is not on trial in this case. It's only if you intentionally committed a criminal act, and Mr. Weinstein vigorously denies that. They say that he did commit. I, I understand that. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. People don't get convicted based on accusations. People get convicted only when there is credible evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. And in this case, I do not believe that the district attorney has that, nor do I believe that Mr. Weinstein has intentionally violated the law. Thank you very much.